Thank you for watching Indian Muscles. Well, today's topic is really interesting. It might seem boring to some of you, but it is very interesting and very important as well. Today we will learn about fats. What fats to eat, what fats to ignore, and to what fats we should we should absolutely say no. And this, so this video is all about good fats versus bad fats. Well, many of us might think that if they want to, you know, be healthy, they should stop eating fats but that's this is totally wrong our body needs fats for proper functioning of the body so there are two or i should say three kinds of fats unsaturated saturated and trans fats in these three i would say that unsaturated fats are the good fats saturated ones are the bad fats and trans fats are the dangerous ones you should absolutely say no to them all right and uh, so, what are the food items from which we get these fats? Um, let's go for unsaturated fats first. Um, the food items are almonds, walnuts, peanuts, and olive oil, fish oil. Or uh, if you're not, you know, you don't take fish oil supplements or you're vegetarian or something, you can have flax seeds. <coughs> In uh, Hindi, it is called alsi. Alsi ke peach. So, flax seeds. You can ground them, you can mix them, they are sort of unflavored. So very good and very healthy, full of omega-3s. Hey so bro, you said that the, the trans fans are very dangerous. What do you mean by dangerous? Yeah. <laughs> I will get to it. I will get to it. I'll explain how it is dangerous. Okay. And uh, this is my friend and my cameraman. <laughs> yeah. So let's continue. Okay, so uh, what does unsaturated fats do? They increase good cholesterol in our body and decrease bad cholesterol. Now what actually is cholesterol? I would, I would say that cholesterol is a substance in our body which is used to produce various hormones like estrogen in that is a female hormone and testosterone male sex hormone. We all know, if you don't know, I am telling you that testosterone helps in muscle building. How does it help in muscle building? Uh, that is a different topic for some another video. Alright, so we will go, we will check that in another video and uh, so this is cholesterol and uh, good cholesterol before that i would like to explain bad cholesterol bad cholesterol is you know it's kind of uh, blocker what you can say uh, the blood which is pumped in our heart there is a coronary artery that is blood vessel through which the blood is pumped throughout the body and it goes to the heart in this blood what does it carry it carries oxygen so this bad cholesterol gets you know jammed or it sort of gets blocks these arteries so when it blocks these arteries the blood flow in the arteries also gets blocked or reduced and over a period of time if you have a uh, very high cholesterol level in your body then flow of blood that is the flow of oxygen in your heart will be reduced to a lot and that might cause a severe heart attack to you guys Oh really man? Yes bro really God bless you. Oh man. So you guys you should take care of mm. your cholesterol levels also. And uh, good cholesterol actually helps in reducing the bad cholesterol. You take the bad cholesterol from these arteries or these blood vessels to the liver. Alright, so let's get back. We have done saturated, I'm sorry, unsaturated fats. What are the food items that provides us saturated fats? Um uh, I can say milk products, milk products like uh, cheese, butter, and what else, bro? Uh, and cake, um, and all those oils which get frozen or normally are freezed at room temperature. You are asking me about the saturated fat, right? Damn right, bro. I'm, I only know about the trans fat, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good. God bless you, bro. Thank you, thank you so much. So. Uh, so the, we should avoid all these. The saturated uh, fats, they increase the good fats and they also increase the bad fats. So, I mean, we should try to avoid them. I mean, they will be present in most of your food items, but we should try to avoid them. Alright, and the last one are the trans fats. These are really dangerous ones because uh, they increase uh, the bad cholesterol and they decrease the good cholesterol. So they are harmful in both the sides. Balance is not there. Alright, so all uh, so bro, if I remember last night you went to McDonald's, right? 
No, man. <laughs> ah, why are you why are you saying this? Yes. How do you know that? Because last time I called you to tell <laughs> you said you were in McDonald's. I got you at. No, man. I didn't. Man. You had uh, French fries, right? <laughs> okay. Yes. So, guys, all those French fries lovers, these are trans fats. You, it's, it's your choice. I would say totally no to these kind of fats because these are really harmful for your body. So over a long term, they will increase your bad cholesterol levels in your body and they will pose a danger to your life. I'm not trying to threaten you, I'm just giving you the facts. So, that's it. Uh, unsaturated fats are the best ones. Try to incorporate uh, or add these items in your, into your diet. And you should also one thing that uh, you should notice one thing that in the market there are several walnuts or almonds, roasted ones, or fried ones, uh, which has a lot of sodium. Don't use them. I had a packet of that yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, that's what. I should also tell you that uh, if you are having walnuts or almonds, it doesn't mean that you can have you know whole packet or uh, 500 grams or 250 grams in a single uh, serving. You should try to have you know 10, 15 maximum in a single serving. That's it. Uh, try to add these items in your diet, and I'm, I'm sure you will be healthy and fit. Thank yeah, you. I want to say that we need to take care of the trans fat. Then. <laughs> You need to take care of your class, right, bro? Yeah. Alright, guys, this is Indian Muscles and this is Pranit Gupta. Thank you.